Hello world and welcome to the first session of Python programming. So this video series is Python for everyone who wants to learn Python programming from scratch. And let me just tell you first a few things about Python. It's very easy to understand. It has a very simple set direct coding, no need of any declarations and it's have tons and tons more of uh, good things in it. So let's start. So what we'll do is we won't be downloading anything. Uh, we'll be doing that in, in the later videos. We'll be using this amazing website called as Replit Python 3, which is an IDE to execute, to type and execute our code. So let's visit this website and check how things work. So once on this website, it will look something like this. Uh, this section over here is for all our files and folders. We won't be using this for now. So I can just uh, swipe it to the left. Uh, this section over here is to type a code and if I click on the play button over here it will display our output. So let's type a first code. So what is the first code every programmer writes? Yes, that's true. It's hello world. So let me just write print hello world. Okay, great. So no need of any semicolons, no bridge brackets, no class, no main, no void, nothing. So that's our first code, only one line of code and we can just do run and we get a display over here which is hello world. So this is what we have got, I just took a screenshot and so print is a function. So over here this is the function or a block of code which is written by someone. Now each function will have a round bracket around it, you can see over here these are called as parentheses and whatever is inside these is called as parameters or arguments. We'll be seeing this later on when we make our own custom functions in the upcoming videos. For now, you just have to understand that print takes something inside it which will be displayed over here. Right. So, we'll see some more examples. So, next I can write my name which is Gaurav. Hello world, I am Gaurav over here. And I can just play this button and it will show Gaurav over here. Right. Also, you can do the same thing with integers. Uh, just one thing, integers do not need any round brackets around it. So if I can just run this, I'll get 1, 2, 3 over here. Uh, so these things over here inside quotes or the alphabets, whatever we write over here, inside the quotes are called as string. So these are called as strings. And these for now, we'll be just calling them integers. Great. So these are strings, these two, and this is the integer. We'll see more different data types in the upcoming videos. For now, I think so this is enough for the first video to get you started. If you have any doubts or any queries, you can just comment down in the comment section below. You can also share your code if you get some errors using this share link button over here. If you click on this, you can have an URL over here and you can share that in the comment section. Uh, uh, that's it for this video. Like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.